Today I will show you how to add absolutely crazy glitch effects to your edits. Yo, it's Povikas here, and you probably have seen these crazy glitch effects in other edits or music videos, and I've actually always wanted to create these glitch effects, but I just never knew how to, and then when I learned, I learned that it was way too difficult to make them. So I have spent my entire summer actually creating a glitch presets pack, which includes over 25 plus glitch presets, which just let you create absolutely crazy glitch effects and after effects in literally just a drag and drop, just one click. So yeah, I would definitely recommend to go ahead and snag it on my Povikas.com website, and for this tutorial, I'll I will just be using it and showing you how to use it in the best ways possible. But anyways, let's begin. All right, guys. So once you're in After Effects, you can go to Effects and Presets panel and go to Animation Presets, use your presets, and you will see Glitch Presets, or you can just type Glitch. So for these Glitch Presets, you will see like there's like FPS settings. So choose the FPS that are the closest to what you're using. I am using 24 FPS, so I'm just going to be using the Glitch Presets 24 FPS. But if you're using different FPS, just find your FPS option that is the closest to yours. And anyways one thing we can start to do is just press ctrl y we can cut the adjustment layer by pressing ctrl shift d to our liking and it's very easy to use these effects like all you need to do is just go to one of the effects you can either just drag and drop it and you will have it instantly like this or you can just double press on it and you'll have the effect and yeah as you can see we already have this crazy glitch effect just by adding it instantly on our adjustment layer so yeah literally how crazy is this effect and what you can do is you can press u to see all of the keyframes and here as we can see here it ends so we want to go a bit further i'm actually going to extend this so we can see the keyframes way better and let's go here and press ctrl shift d and delete so this just indicates that this will be the last frame to use this as you can see there's a bunch of keyframes saying yeah, this took me ages to create these presets and we can call this maybe like one because we had just glitch one and you will instantly have this glitch preset and we can press ctrl y again if you want and here we can go and discuss the add-ons now i absolutely love the add-ons add-ons were pretty much just created so you just could have insane effects so you can add like signal tv for glitches on top of an adjustment layer right here and you will pretty much have like this crazy glitch like it will look like a signal glitch now because we have added the signal tv for glitches i mean just look how crazy of a result you get just by doing that so yeah let's say we just have this glitch for this clip right here and we can go to the next clip which is of one and only just walking like this so for longer clips i will probably be using like a camcorder tape glitch which i absolutely am in love with so let me just go ahead and drag and drop camcorder tape glitch and we can press u to see the keyframes and as we can see it ends here so we can press ctrl shift d to cut but you can also like end it way faster or, or start it at, at any point it's it doesn't matter like the creativity here you can be super creative with this effect so yeah we can have the camcorder glitch maybe start like maybe here to be fair but let's actually glitch out from one and only here to one and only here so one thing we can do is press ctrl y here and i'm actually going to transition with the glitch free it's an amazing transition effect so i'm just going to add the glitch free it's a bit more of a simplistic glitch effect so yeah i'm going to add it like this and i'll press ctrl y and i think i'm going to choose maybe glow for glitches yeah and i think that just looks really cool it looks like those like tv glitches almost like those old tv glitches and another thing i like to do is i like to combine even more glitches so like if you are not satisfied like you can press ctrl y again and you can actually add fast forward glitch and when i add fast forward glitch i like to usually just turn off the motion tile but i've added it for y'all to keep if you want and we can press ctrl shift d to delete here and you will get an absolute crazy effect so you can actually have the fast forward glitch even below the camcorder i just have it a bit below the camcorder for this amount look how crazy it looks this is camcorder combined so wait let me call the top layer camcorder because this might get confusing yeah and these other layers are just glitches you know so this was the glow and these two are glitches and you will pretty much have like an absolutely crazy glitch look how actually crazy that looks just absolutely insane effects what can i say you know and yeah let's see what we can do here so here we have a long clip so i love to mess around a lot with long clips so maybe when it's glitching we can like press ctrl y we can cut it up by pressing ctrl shift d and we can add for example glitch 12 i absolutely love these glitches like it absolutely looks crazy as a glitch there and oh yeah i want to show one thing from the glitch presets pack trailer if you haven't seen that you should definitely check it out but what i in the glitch presets pack trailer is i just cut the clip press ctrl y you know to make a new adjustment layer 
And here I will add one of my favorite effects here. It's glitch two. So yeah, let's just add it real quick. And on top of it, we can press control Y again, and we can add TV for glitches to make it look like a CRT TV. And a crazy thing you can do with glitches is you can make a glitch stutter. So we can actually select everything we just did, press pre-compose, and here we can call it glitch two and press okay. And here, what I like to do is I like to go one, two frames forward. And what you could do is you could press control D, duplicate and just drag it in forward and just press control shift D. So you would have two frames like this. It would glitch like this. It will like do a glitch stutter like this is crazy. And let's go a bit forward. Let's go here. And here we can also press control D. And now we can press control shift D, you know, to cut it and go one, two, press control shift D and make this go one, two. So as you can see, this will create an actually insane glitch, like a crazy glitch stutter. Like, I don't know, like look how everything just looks now. And for the glitch too, as you can see here, I'm going to press a U to see all the keyframes. The glitch actually ends here so i just extended it i love extending glitch 2 to its full potential because look what the look you will get so let's just say it goes like this you know and what we can do is we can press ctrl at y and get out of this glitch so to get out of glitches i like to sometimes add like glitch 6 this is an absolutely crazy glitch effect and let's press ctrl shift to cut the layer and we can press u to see the keyframes and it ends there so actually i'm just going to have it maybe to that so yeah press ctrl shift d and end actually crazy glitch just look how crazy that glitches yeah i i can i actually love it so much and now i will show you absolutely one of my favorite glitches from the whole pack might actually be my favorite glitch it's hard to say i mean a lot of these are just actually insane so the glitch i will be using will be glitch 10 so let me just add it right here so yeah, i'm just going to be honest i use glitch 10 in pretty much every single one of my newer edits like i just use it all the time so yeah this has to be my favorite glitch but what i can do is if your like clip is too short you can press ctrl d and you can duplicate it you know and this and just drag it forward we can grab all of these clips right click press pre-compose call it glitch 10 and now go one two frames forward and press ctrl d to duplicate and just drop it two frames forward i again with this effect i really like to do the stutter like especially with this effect like look how crazy it looks the stutter and we can go back actually to the glitch 10 and here if you want you can also press ctrl t and type like any text like for example, glitch. I really like typing text below like glitches. I'm using the font called Mirage Gothic, so you can copy it as well. And let's go to align and align it to the middle. Yeah, just absolutely insane. Oh, and another thing for this pack is it's really important to have the Sapphire and the Signal plugins because it is required for these effects to work. So yeah, just make sure you have them. Signal is not as necessary as Sapphire, but they're both pretty much like super necessary. So if you have both of the plugins, I 100% recommend to go snag this pack. It is absolutely a game game changer like i have been editing way faster with this pack now and since you have made it this far to the video i would also like to say that if you use code glitch you can save five dollars off from the glitch presets pack well yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya